My name's Natalie Long, I'm 17 years old. We are currently in Belfast in Ballycillan in a Protestant area. Everywhere in this neighbourhood, everyone's a Protestant. I like wasn't brought up with Catholics because it's just the two different communities. I went to a Protestant primary school. I first realised that Belfast is divided by walls of the two communities, Protestants and Catholics. I think I was in first year, so there's just talk of walls, but the peace walls don't really mean much to me, so they don't. I just think that they're the past and they need to be left there. Jirich is Mr. Lucian Ekemeister, August New Vimeg Lord Fui and Relegan at on. Hi, I'm Lucia McMaster, and that was just me introducing myself in Irish. I come from a Catholic background. We're now at the Alexander Park, which is about five, ten minutes away from my house, and this is the nearest peace wall to me. I don't really feel like we need peace walls anymore. I feel like we've moved on from that, and that both communities should be with each other and be able to walk through the park freely and to just enjoy this beautiful park and get rid of the peace wall. Maybe the older generation would have a problem with the peace walls coming down, but you know, because I don't think they're fully over what happened and the troubles. It was such a tragic time period and it should never be forgotten, but moving on is a different scenario. In my household, there's like no like conflict about wanting to move on and stuff, but my uncles and stuff, they, they wouldn't be fussed on me having a Catholic boyfriend. They keep with the past, so they do. So it is the older generation who are holding on to it. When you were like 11, when you were leaving primary school to go to secondary school, you didn't even know there was Protestants and Catholics, only because some of your friends were going to different schools. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. you didn't? Oh, yes, true. Just, it just shows you the change from us come, you know, whenever we were young, to now, you know, yeah. which is good because we never wanted that to be the case anyway with, yeah. with either like of our kids. You were just born after the peace process. I feel like today that religion isn't a big thing to the younger generation. I feel like we can put our differences aside and uh, we'll work together as a community. <laughs> My first real Protestant friend wasn't until the September of 2017 when I joined our city. That was the first real connection I have ever felt, you know, that religion doesn't matter. Whenever I went down to our city, uh, this is the first opportunity had, I had to make a lot of Catholic friends. I learned that there is, from my own perspective, there's nothing different between us. They're all still my friends to this state and we all get along. The two communities have just came together. Basketball nets as well. They're like just beside the park. Because, I think because of community groups, religious organisations don't really matter anymore. Right, why? Because they break down barriers, whereas years ago you were told they don't like us, you don't like them. And that's the way it's going to be. My name's Alan Waite. Um, I'm a youth and community worker for the Our City Project here in Belfast, which is a good relations cross-community programme between young people from the Shankill, Protestant Unis Loyals community, and from the Ardoin community, which is the Catholic Republican Nationalist community. One of the great things about our programme, it gives young people from both communities the opportunity to actually cross that peace line um, and visit one another's community. Even though they live literally two minutes walk, five minutes walk from each other's um, communities or, or, or doors, they probably have never had the opportunity to walk into the other, other one's community and actually see it and feel it and touch it and smell it for the first time. Here we are in the most notorious center face in Belfast, Ardoin, uh, roundabout. Um, on the left hand side of me here you've got Twadale, which is part of the Protestant Unionist Loyalist community. And on the right hand side of me here, you have Ardoin, which is a nice little Catholic community. If there's going to be trouble at any interface of Belfast, it's more likely going to be here. Right behind me here, 
um, is our city coffee shop, which you can enter uh, from both sides of the community. So both the Protestant and the Catholic communities, you can come in from both. And that's the unique thing about, about where we are. It's a social enterprise coffee shop. The profit that's made goes back into the communities to support programs or projects. It's a, it's a safe space where both communities feel that they can come in and, and sit and have a coffee and they don't feel under threat, they don't feel that they're being watched, they don't feel that they have to betray themselves as, as anything else but just a general you know, person coming in for a lunch. And it was all dreamt by young people, which is, which, which is amazing.